Hi, I'm Allie Dossel with We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm here at scrapbook.com to share a project with you using the Cinch Binding Tool. Now, we already made inside pages for this album in a different lesson, but in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create the covers and how to bind the book together using the Cinch and some wire binding. So first of all, we're going to use some cards from the card kit, the Stitch Happy card kit, and we're just going to cut those in half, and that's going to be the perfect size for our covers. So I'm gonna get the dial trimmer. And friends, this is an exciting tool. This is like six tools in one. Um, you've got a basic straight blade, you've got a perforating blade, you've got a wave, um, deckle, and scallop are your decorative blades, and it scores as well. So it saves you from having all those decorative scissors and different tools, and it's just in one tool. We're gonna go ahead and turn this to the straight cut and pull out the extender arm. And what I love about this extender arm is it's 14 inches, so you can cut even larger than a 12 by 12 sheet. We're gonna slide this under and line it up right in the center on the guide there, and then just pull this blade down and trim that right in half. Now we're going to use some six by six chipboard, and I've trimmed it down to four by six since that's the size of my covers. Now I'm gonna put adhesive on my chipboard. What I like to do is I like to put the adhesive as close to the edge as possible so that when I cover it with my pattern paper, it doesn't peel up on the sides. Okay, now we're just gonna put one half of the card over the chipboard. And then we're going to use for the opposite side a different card that I already cut in half just for interest. So I've got my first cover done. You're gonna do the same thing to the back cover and then you're ready to embellish. So now I've got my front and my back covers ready to go and I'm gonna embellish my front cover with some of the ephemera pieces from the Stitch Happy card kit. And you can use double-sided tape, or you can also use some uh, foam squares to give it a little bit of dimension and pop. And then I'm gonna put this cute little flag on. That's where I'm going to put my title right there. And I'm gonna use the Oasis um, Thickers. And I'm just gonna put a simple little title, it's us, because this album is about me and my daughter. And then I'm just gonna add a few little bits and pieces. You can add your favorite small embellishments just to give it a little color and some nice finishing touches. Got my covers finished, so now we're gonna punch holes in the covers and the inside pages. And if you look at the bottom of this tool, it's got a guide here that tells you which of these pegs to pull out depending on the size of your project. So since this is a six inch tall project, it tells us to pull out peg 12, which we're gonna do right there. And then all we have to do is put in the edge that's going to be punched, use this guide here and push it all the way back till it stops, and then press down. Now we're gonna punch our back cover, and to make sure you punch the right spot, you're gonna put your covers together and just make sure that you punch along that edge. So that edge is going into the machine, straight back, and punch. Now we're gonna do the pages. And again, you're gonna wanna make sure that you get the right edge in there. And if you're doing a mini album, um, with lots of cardstock pages, you can do multiple pages at a time. I've done five or six, page, six pages of cardstock in there at a time, and it works just great. All right, so now we've got all of our pages ready, we've got our covers ready, and we're going to get our wire ready. So this is a 5 8 inch wire, a silver wire, and if you look at the cover, you're gonna see how many holes you have. There's 11 of these. So I'm gonna cut 11 of these binders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And then I'm gonna use the wire cutters and just trim right there. So the cinch has a nice hanging feature right here. That's very convenient. And you just put your wire 
all the little hangers. And then you take your cover on top, front cover. Then you put your pages in order behind that cover. Um, and then you can go ahead and place those into the wires. And then you're gonna do your back cover last with the inside facing up. Once you've got that ready, you're going to pull the whole thing off and place this in the back of the tool so that you can cinch it together. So first of all, we're going to set this for the right um, size of wire, and it's 5 eighths, so I'm going to push down and turn to 5 eighths. Then we're going to make sure that we get both of the ends of the wires flush against the back wall of the cincher back here. Get your fingers out of the way and then just press down and your wires are cinched and your notebook is ready to go. Now what's nice is when you do this, that stops your pages from coming undone and it also hides your seam there on the back cover. So you've got your album finished and put together and it's super easy to use. Thanks so much for joining me in my We Are Memory Keepers class, sharing these innovative and awesome tools with you. If you guys make projects based on these lessons, be sure to share them in the scrapbook.com gallery for this class. And also comment below each video and tell us what your favorite project was or a tip that you liked, or maybe a tip that you have to share with us. I had so much fun here at scrapbook.com. Thanks so much for joining me.